because like everyone says this like cures ha like i was gonna say this cures hangovers okay um this feels weird um i haven't done this in a hot minute but hi hi yes i'm alive um i just honestly like this past semester has been like just so insanely hard in like every way possible like i was taking five classes they were like absolutely draining i had a vp position in my sorority that took like so much time and i was just like literally i had no free time also please ignore this um this is a like product from finals i just never got to take them off anyways yeah this mess was like so freaking tough but she's back she's on summer break and she's ready to make more videos yes i'm taking classes this summer but i like i just i really miss this like honestly you guys don't understand how just like this makes me so happy i feel like i'm look like a fucking ghost but it's like it's like 9 p.m and i'm like i want to film this video <laughs> so i look like a ghost but whatever and yeah we're gonna talk about a few books that i've been reading like that i've read re oh my god i cannot talk that i've read recently this is like from a while ago because again i've just been like so busy that i didn't get to reading like that much but i was like okay what at the end of like the month well we're more at like the start of the new month i'll just like make a video with everything that i've read before and then like kind of like start off fresh in may so all these i read mainly honestly in like january and february i just like never got to making a video if you've never seen my face before my name is mila i make everything from like college to like bookish sometimes like sorority content so if that sounds fun definitely hit the subscribe button i promise i'm going to be more active i promise <laughs> um but yeah so that all my socials i linked down below and without further ado let's get into the few books, like, I feel like you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, there's, like, so many books because she didn't post a video in, like, so long. No. Honestly, no, there's maybe, like, ten. So these are, like, not even in order, but I guess we'll go with the one that I'm reading right now because I think I have, like, a hundred pages left, but it's Throttled by Lauren Asher, and I've had this on my shelf literally since, like, 2020. No, 2021. Yeah, fall of 2021, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna read it. I know I'm gonna love it. I never read it, but I got to reading it now and it's good. It's so, so good. I kind of, oh my God, people are texting me. I kind of like decided to do a different, like not like color system, but like different ways that I tab my books. Honestly, these colors don't mean anything. It's just like, it's like, okay, no, like not that it doesn't mean anything, but it's like, it means the same thing, but it's just like different colors. So it's like prettier. You know, I can't really talk much about this cause I didn't finish it but this is like one of the top books my april tbr let's actually put them in order so the first book i read literally in like the year <laughs> um is the glass sword by victoria aviard wow the glare okay okay um yeah glass sword by victoria aviard and this is the second book in the red queen series this feels like so far back in my head but let me just do king's cage also while i'm at it so this is book three and this series it's like i don't know it's like i have moments where i'm like oh my god i love other moments where i'm like it's like kind of dragging like i understand it's a fantasy series you build a world and everything like not every section of every book is going to be like oh my god i love am i talking fast i don't know i feel like i'm talking fast but yeah no like just overall i really like the story i i, I can't really give much away because it is like the second or third book in a series but honestly i really recommend red queen like I was going into like the first book being like, okay, this was written like a while ago. I am like in my 20s. Will I actually like vibe with this or am I like not like too old, but it's like, would I not enjoy it as much as if I read it when I was like, let's say 17? Because like I did, like for example, I loved Divergent. I love this other series. Um, Delirium, love them, but I'm like, I know if I read them back now, I'm not gonna like it. But this one actually surprised me like because a big thing here is just like betrayal and i love i love so these are two books that i read this year like it's it's in may it's been like four months and i barely read anything so like this year i think the next one i read was the fourth book in the born and blood born and blood series i don't know if you can see but i have the other three right over here um uh, bound by temptation and this is lily's and romero's book i was anticipating this because i was like 
just the build up of like Lily being obsessed with him and like Romero like obviously like there was always a little something there and I'm like oh my god you finally got to their book and I love how this ended I was I was about to give it away but I'm like you you like cannot give it away but I like how this ended because like this shows that okay this is like the start of like a mafia war because like yeah in the past few books you had like little mafia things but no this is like shit is going down so I was super excited to get to the other two yeah the two books I realized I just did not give ratings um I feel like Glass Sword and King's Cage were solid four stars this was also I don't know if it was a four or 4.25 but loved it like Romero just because like yeah like there's Luca there's Matteo but Romero I can't <laughs> I posted a video reading Sarah Caroli's five star reads and mm -hmm, it was um we it was it was interesting uh the first book I read was Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn and I really love this book I think I rated this 4.5 I'm not gonna talk too much about it again because I read it like in another video. So 4.5, really enjoyed it. After that, I got to love in other words, five stars. Like, yeah, the whole um what's it called? The whole like conflict or something like that. It's like, okay, it wasn't like as bad as she was making it out to be, but it's still like knowing what I know now that I'm like shit, like wow that that's like oof but yeah five stars love it if for some reason you haven't read this yet like me please go read it i read this honestly in a day like it reads so fast like it looks like a chunker but again i read it in like a day it was so fast um after that okay i read darling venom and i had such high expectations for darling venom i read this like a 2.5 star it just i don't know it just i just no it just no no it just it didn't work for me like honestly i don't really have much to say if you want to know my thoughts um i'll link that video down below but it was just not a vibe like not a vibe the last book that i read for that video was a good girl's guide to murder five stars like again if you haven't read this please go read it so good and just like how it's like written it's like you it's like a case file in a way so it always like keeps you hooked you always want to know what's going on. like not case file but it's like kind of or it's like not case file but it's like written in like logs i guess you can say that are our main character's project but it's also like i don't know it's like interviews and like transcripts of things it's just like really like i really like the mixed media type aspects of this book five stars 100 percent recommend then we have Gemina. I read Illuminae, I think, in December, and I loved it. Like, I literally loved it so much. And I rated it five stars. Gemini was, like, a little bit of a letdown. And I rated, like, three stars, but I don't know, like, yeah, I guess it's interesting because you see a new set of characters, and it's, like, it's not completely unrelated because it's the characters in, like, kind of, like, the home base, in a way, and then the characters we saw in Illuminae were, like, in another part of the world but they're all connected in some way and i don't know it's just like having been like just having gone through the characters from the first book story like diving in expecting to see more of them but having two new characters like yeah i did like the dynamic that they had but it was also like i don't know i just I didn't really vibe with it and i don't know if it's because of my expectations or not but i have the third book and you know, like, I'm gonna kind of, like, know more going in, so I feel like I might enjoy it more, I don't know, but I also kind of did a bit of research, and I know that people really like the first one, but the second and the third are kind of, like, a letdown, so I don't know, we're gonna see. Hopefully, it's gonna be good, and then the last book I read was The Shadows Between Us. It was, like, a Target sticker because I got it from Book Outlet, but this, honestly, it's, like, can I tell you anything about this book? No. I gotta sneeze. Ooh, like honestly i can't tell you anything about this book it's not really memorable i didn't hate it i didn't enjoy it i just so i put like 2.5 stars yeah i honestly don't really have anything to say it's just like super super neutral um <laughs> yeah i feel like i'm also gonna include a bit of like my may tbr in this video because like why the hell not 
Uh, I'm going to be coming out with, like, a summer TBR that is just, like, a general thing of, like, all the summer vibey books that I want to read in May, June, July, August. That video is coming out next week, I want to say. But this is my more, like, specific, um, like, May TBR. And I'm kind of putting, like, a lot of, like, not a lot, but, like, a variety of books on it because I was in a reading slump. And I feel like that is why it was, like, so hard to push myself to read because, like, when I came home from school and I was, like, exhausted and tired my brain wasn't like let's go read my brain was like let's go watch love island i swear i watched five seasons of love island in the past like four months that is a lot that's like a lot <laughs> i was taking five classes and my sorority job took up like a big chunk of time i watched five episodes of love island five seasons of love island keep in mind some seasons are like 30 episodes some are like 50 plus yeah same i don't know where i found the time for that but imagine if I put like all this time towards like reading. So yeah, my TBR is a bit like all over the place. It's a bunch of different like vibes and stuff like that because I just want to see what's going to click with me. Obviously you saw before there was Throttled by Lauren Asher. Then something else I decided to put on my TBR that I've wanted to read so bad is the Mindfuck series because like everyone says this like cures, ha like <laughs> I was going to say this cures hangovers. This cures reading slums. I like blight on the word this cures reading slums like you finish like it's it's like five books in one each are like 100 pages you finish one you immediately want to jump into the other so like this is like perfect for a reading slump like i think after finishing throttle oh my god throttled i'm probably gonna go for this i do have the last book in the briar series because i'm like might as well finish it you know like because i don't know it's like i don't want to finish it because i love these characters so much but it's also like just finish it there's like one book left you can read it in like three days like just finish it so that's on my tbr so that's like romancy type things then i do want to read the shadow and bone series so shadow and bone ruin and rise uh siege and storm and ruin and rising because i know that during the summer i'm not really going to be like into fantasy so i was like let's just read this in may um, I do want to film a video reading this. I think I'm going to include this and the Six of Crow duology together in a video. I do not know yet. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah, people say, like, oh, you don't have to read Shadow and Bone before, like, Six of Crow. But it's, like, just for me, I feel like I want to, to be, like, introduced to the world. So that is on my TBR. And I do want to read a video um, reading Taylor Jenkins Read for, like, 24 hours or for a week. I don't know. I'm going to see how I organize things. So we have Seven as Hus- Oh my god, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Yeah, I haven't read this so far. Um, I don't know why. Daisy Jones and the Six. Also, I don't know why. I've just, like, never read this before. And then One True Loves. I know the cover is, like, a little different. The sizing is a little different. Oh, actually, yeah, it's a little different. Um, I bought this in, like, an English bookstore in Barcelona last summer. So it's, like, a little different. But I actually- I love this cover so much. Like- I don't remember how the US cover looks like, but I feel like I like this like so much better. So I have these three for that video. I have this thriller that I found on my shelf. If I, It's called And Then You Are Gone by R.A. Jacobs. If I remember, so there's a couple, they go out on like a boat um, and then the like the girl wakes up the next day and the guy's like gone and he's like a really good swimmer. They say that I think he like drowned yeah because she's like okay he can't have drowned because he's a good swimmer like and why would he like jump off the boat in the middle of the night but i think the cops think that she is the one yeah she's becomes a person of interest because the cops find out that he's been murdered so it was like okay this is like it's not like summer vibes but it's like okay like a boat someone dies it might be vibes <laughs> so that's on my tbr also and then i said like just if i'm feeling it um loathe to love you by ali hazelwood because it's like three stories so i'm like okay if i'm ever like narrowly vibing with like a big story i can like take little stories they're all like 120 pages i think um and this has my camera died so i don't know where i stopped but yeah this has under one roof stuck with you and below zero so that's on my tbr and yeah i hope you enjoy this i know it's kind of like all over the place i feel like i'm talking again so fast but i'm like trying to get back to the rhythm of this and i figured like okay for the month of may i am planning to post like a video a week just to like make sure that i know what i'm getting myself into in a way like obviously i've done this before but it's like 
with my new way of like managing my time with like all at like everything that I have going on in my life I'm like okay do like one video a week if you could post more perfect but like don't promise more than what you can do so I was like okay let's do a video a week see how things go and then if it works well do two videos for the rest of the summer if not then it's fine just do like one video a week but like post once a week so those are my plans if you have any book racks leave them down below i'm probably not gonna be buying i mean okay i'm gonna come out with like a little book haul but i'm not gonna be like coming out with any more i'm not gonna be buying any more books because if you haven't seen my most recent video that i literally posted yesterday because i'm on top of my shit um i have an entire bookshelf in my room of like unread books so if you if you see something there that you're like oh well, i read that and i absolutely love it let me know it's gonna go higher up on my tbr list and um yeah so once again all my socials i linked down below comment anything you want to comment down below leave a like and subscribe for more videos i'm thinking every single thursday for may like that's what we're going for and then if i have an extra video probably like monday or sunday but yeah so how do i end these stay safe protect your vibe and i'll see you all next time bye guys <laughs>